Hi, this is Manos Kourlakis from Minneapolis Heart Institute. It is a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Nicolas Boudou from Rangier Hospital in Toulouse, France. Dr. Boudou will present uh, case 63 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. Nicolas, thank you so much for presenting this case. This patient had uh, CTO in LAD in bifurcation, and he had previous stent implantation in proximal LAD and diagonal during uh, acute coronary syndrome. Two, PC, two CTO PCI attempt failed in LAD in uh, two other institutions during the previous uh, uh, few years, and the patient is symptomatic and referred to me to try again to reopen this uh, LAD. You can see this is a left coronary uh, dominant system, and uh, the LAD is occluded in front of the stent implantation. There is a, a collateral, an epicanal collateral arising from the diagonal artery. And first of all, I try to, I, I, I have to say that the, the right coronary artery is small and there is no collateral from the RCA. So I start first to uh, look for a septal collateral arising from the left coronary artery, but I fail to, uh, 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 retro to approach retrogradually the occlusion through the uh, uh, septal collateral. So uh, I try to go inside the uh, diagonal, and as you see, there is uh, an epicardial collateral with uh, tensiosity. So I have to go very uh, slowly and to uh, avoid any uh, complication because this is a very important collateral for this patient. So I use a cyan wire. I advance through uh, some tortuosity, then I advance the mark catheter. Sometimes you can remove slowly the mark catheter to try to reduce the uh, tortuosity, and then I uh, advance again the uh, scion wire to go uh, from the diagonal to the LAD. After that, I can cross the uh, CTO with a uh, pilot and uh, also uh, to place this uh, pillar 200 inside the stent of the uh, proximal LAD because the, the, this is like a, a stent assist reverse card. To avoid any uh, problem, I use a second catheter. This is a ping pong technique. I, I place a second guide catheter and also a guide catheter extension for an, an externalization. And after externalization, because this is a bifurcation and I don't want to jail the anterior wiring from the proximal to the diagonal. I exchange the, the wire and place two wire in the uh, proximal diagonal, in the proximal LAD and uh, in the LAD, and in the proximal uh, LAD and in the diagonal. After a culot uh, technique stent implantation and a kissing balloon, you can see the result. But the patient had the chest pain, and if you uh, look at the uh, mid part of the LAD, there is a small effusion. And also there is, I think, uh, an hematoma in the uh, mid LAD. I decided to, to uh, um, place another stent, but after that, there is a very big perforation. And you can see uh, also contrast and blood inside the pericardium. So first of all, I have to uh, uh, place a balloon in front of the perforation and I have to uh, perform a pericardiosynthesis to, uh, per, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, eliminate the blood. And I have to place two cover stents, pick up papyrus from uh, Brutonic. And uh, thanks to that, I try to close the perforation. But as you see, uh, there is uh, also uh, a bleeding. By echo, we can see that there is no hematoma in the left ventricular uh, uh, muscle, so the the, the left ventricular aortic transfusion uh, uh, is still uh, good, but there is a blood effusion in the pericardium. So um, to clearly understand what happened, uh, we, we have to know that there is stent in the proximal LAD and in the diagonal. There is also uh, two covered stent in the mid LAD. So the cause of the blood effusion can be a stent malaposition, or sometimes you can have a, a dissection in the proximal or in the distal part. And in case of dissection, this is a re-entry point for a perforation. So the first of all, the first thing you have to do, I think, is to perform a post-dilatation with a balloon. 
and uh, that was done with a 3.5 balloon in the proximal LAD and mid LAD and a 3.0 balloon in the LAD with long inflation. Thanks to that, the perforation stopped and the dissection is sealed. And uh, finally, you can see there is a good result and the patient recover very well without any mark at 